Hello and welcome to this weather update. It's about 8 o'clock on July 26th, 2019. and Another smoky day across our area with hazy skies and uh, it was awful. And, uh, you know, just got awful. Walking around in this, I don't know about you. I'm going to put a poll up here, but if you're having health effects, like I'm having health effects from this, uh, you know, walking around, it just feels like I get hot a lot easier, even though it wasn't that hot today and it wasn't that humid. And, you know, you just feel like you're gasping for air. You're not, you know, you're not, uh, you know, it feels like you're, you're, um, you know, short of breath almost, like you're at altitude or something, not getting enough air. You just feel weak and tired. Uh, uh, and I think it's all from the smoke in the air. Nobody's talking about it. And it's, I know a lot of it's at the upper levels, but there's a lot that you don't see. We're going to talk about that. So if you're having health effects, uh, let me know. I'm curious if I'm the only one or other people are having health effects uh, uh, when the smoke is around. Uh, because it's it's not good to be breathing this stuff in. It can't be good for breathing this stuff in. Anyway, and, and the sun, uh, again, you could see it at sunset, especially that's when it's most dramatic, uh, as you see here. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the current conditions outside. Central Park is 80 degrees. Let's take a look and see what uh, there is at uh, Farmingdale, 76, and the 2.61. This should be considered comfortable, and yet... I'm I'm coming. I, I'm just short of breath, gasping for air, sweating like crazy. Uh, there's got to be something in the air. It's got to be the smoke that's doing it. And uh, people need to be talking about this. Also, headaches. So it hit 85 at Farmingdale. Uh, we'll take a look at West Hampton and see what it is at West Hampton as well. 73. A little more humid there though. 2.68. Uh, up to 84. And it was it was dry most of the day. 2.2 are not that high. Uh, it looks like there is an air quality alert posted for some parts of the area. Let's uh, read this and see what this is for. I wonder if it's for the smoke. So, uh, no, it means ozone within the region. Well, uh, they just talk about the ozone. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more than just that, I'm telling you. Uh, let's uh, look at New Jersey and see what uh, Tom's River got to today. Probably a little hotter there. So 78 degrees, a dew point 67, so more humid, of course. No surprise. And hey, 87 there. So, of course, that's always the hot spot for the day. Uh, uh, that's for sure. So, uh, let's uh, actually I see some things. See, it looks like some activity on the radar. So, let's look at the radar here and we'll take a look at that and see. It looks like there's a shower over by Monticello. That's interesting. I don't know if that's ground clutter or not. I have no idea. But that's uh, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? So, let's look at the side light here. Uh, and I'm going to pause it right there. Oh, let's get that right when it begins it's hard to get it right when it begins right there you can see the smoke you can see the smoke here uh, let me uh, make this 24 so we can get this a little let's get this up just get this 24 so you can see the smoke a little better uh, yeah right there you can see the smoke look at that so yeah there's the smoke I know it don't look too thick but I'm telling you it's thick enough to, to aggravate you and bother you and uh, it's it's not good to be breathing this stuff in. That's uh, that's the bottom line. Uh, look at the high resolution satellite. Uh, and again, the smoke came from Alaska. However, it looks like, at least in Alaska, the, maybe some of the fires have gone out. There's one that's still going. Uh, but uh, again, um, there was also fire in Flagstaff too, called the Museum Fire. Believe it or not, that uh, uh, believe it or not, there was a fire there too. You could see the smoke here. Yep, see that haze. Yeah, it's the smoke. That's the smoke. And I'm sure the smoke is still going in Russia right now. We'll just uh, take a look at that. Uh, look at this. Just look at this. And they're not even doing a damn thing to even put these fires out, which is ridiculous. We're going to have to find a way to put these fires out. These fires, look, I know forest fires are part of the ecosystem, but when you have this much fire going on, it's pouring so much carbon dioxide into the air. Uh, it's poisoning the air. It's creating. It's creating. It's putting a lot of greenhouse gas. We got to put these fires out. All right. Uh, we got to move heaven and earth to get these fires out because uh, it's only going to make the climate crisis worse. Uh, the soot's going to get on the glaciers. It's already causing causing dark ice, causing the ice to melt. I know it's more of a climate subject, but um, you know, had to be said. Let's look at our old school and see what we're see what the wonderful stuff we're breathing in here across in our area. So. We're looking at particles, and you can see there's a good amount of particles over our area as well. Uh, again, drifting down from uh, 
from these fires, uh, but a lot of it's chemicals too. These fires produce carbon monoxide, so you can see we're in the red. So if you're not feeling well today, this may be a reason why. Carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas. Uh, and uh, maybe that's why people are not feeling well. It seems to be a lot of it over our area, and I'm not even sure if all this came from these fires. Maybe it's coming from all the combustion of all the vehicles. Uh, let's look at carbon dioxide. That doesn't look abnormal. All right, so let's go to the models here. Like I said, if I'm a little out of it, just forgive me. It, it was just going out. I, just walking a mile is like... Walking one mile in this is like walking eight miles, all right? That's the way it feels. So let's uh, look at uh, what, uh, we're gonna be, what's going to be happening. Over the weekend, we'll go to the temperatures and first look at that. See, it's going to probably get a little hotter tomorrow. Yeah. Now, depends, it also depends on where you are. So in Jersey, probably hot, probably closer to 90. Uh, on the South Shore, East End, maybe even the Jersey Shore, maybe. Temperature is only 80 to 85, so I'll have to keep that in mind. And then Sunday is going to be hotter uh, for everybody. Uh, temperature is probably uh, low 90s for the city and Jersey, be above 90, maybe even parts of the North Shore, Long Island, otherwise 80s. And then we'll uh, just take a closer look at next week. Uh, Monday, yeah, Monday is going to be hot too. Tuesday, more heat for Tuesday. Wednesday it dies down a little bit. We try to get a front through. Whether that front makes it through or not, I'm not uh, not sure. I'm not even going to talk about that in this weather update. I, I don't even have the energy to make a long weather update because I'm just so beat from just going out. So let's get the dew points. Um, so dew points, not too bad. Like I said, and the dew points tomorrow probably won't be too bad either. This, yeah, we got to talk about that. There's something that, There's something that's trying to form. We have to look at the tropical tidbits uh, side light, see if they have anything there. Tomorrow, a little more humid, but nothing really oppressive. It's not the humidity. Even Sunday, the humidity won't be that bad. It's this freaking smoke uh, and, and, and whatever garbage is in the air that's making us feel sick. Um, Monday, uh, we see a little more humidity. Let's go into Tuesday. Oops. I don't know why I keep doing that. I think there's something wrong with my computer. I don't know. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday... You can see more humidity coming into the picture, and oh man, yeah, we don't get any relief. We have to wait until August 7th before we finally get a good burst of cold there. So we're going to be dealing with the humidity for quite a while, even though it won't be that humid. There's no really nice weather, and so we're going to have to wait for a while. This whole summer has been just a summer that's been absolutely awful. Um, all right, so I'm going to look at a couple other models here. Let's go to the NAM. Uh, and I want to look at the NAM, and I want to see, because the NAM, uh, there's some chance of possible precipitation activity on a Saturday. So we're going to look at that right now. So as we go into Saturday, let's see if there's anything. Yeah, you can see there's some widely scattered showers, uh, very small showers and thunderstorms popping up on Saturday. Nothing on Sunday. So, uh, Saturday, there's a small chance, mainly inland, uh, maybe central Long Island. We'll get something North Shore, maybe, but, you know, most of us won't see anything. Uh, so, that's that's the thing. So, uh, all right, now, we'll, let's see, does that storm system show up on here? Yes, it does. There it is. So, uh, again, um, I don't see it on the sat. Let me look on the satellite, see if I can see anything there. I don't really see anything forming off the southeast coast yet. Uh, and I don't see anything on this either. So, um, I'll just go to the current storms. And that's it. Right there's Nary. That's not, that's not all. So right now, I'll keep an eye on something forms. If something forms right now, nothing has for, or what's this, Invest 99E. You know, none of these are off the Atlantic, so I'm not even going to pay attention to them. So, I guess that wraps up this weather update. Sorry I couldn't be longer. I gotta rest now. It's just this air quality is absolutely just awful today. Almost did better when it was 100 degrees. That smoke will just knock you out. I'm telling you. Anyway, that wraps up this weather update. Take care.